Hey, you, you, yes, you. You wanna know what I'm using for my overlays or for my notifications or for my goals? But that is Stream Elements. I'm going to show you today how to use Stream Elements, how to set up all the notifications, how to set up everything. Uh, and I'm going to show you why, in my opinion, is the best platform for streaming, for your overlays and for everything. Uh, right after this, as always, my name is LVG. Yes, you. You know who I am. Let's go. Right, so we are on the Stream Elements website. So the first thing you will have to do is obviously sign with your account and then uh, you will have to authenticate uh, Stream Elements onto your platform. Um, then you have the options here if you want to change the language, uh, if you want to be, oh, that's right, or on night time, uh, which is the best one. Um, then you are presented with the dashboard. Uh, on the dashboard, you can see everything. You got the bot settings. Uh, you can see uh, this is basically um, all on Mixer. You got the tips, you got subscribers, followers, uh, everything else, you know, the embers. And then you got a graphic of the tips, the followers, and everything else. And then you got a here basically, uh, you know, everyone is sending you sparks or, or, or hosting you or everything else. So in here if you're online obviously if you start streaming this will show online and this will give you a real-time graphic of your uh, notifications or, or your tips or your followers or everything else um, in here that you got the activity feed which is basically what we saw on uh, OBS uh, all the activity feed you can uh, download a ground control which I don't really use um, but yeah you got a you know widget and everything which is really cool um, then you have the merch merch store you can basically uh, you know do your own merch from here it is quite pricey though uh, you can add whatever you want in my opinion it's tiny bit pricey but um, you know it's a good way it's a good way to to, to you know promote your your store as well your merch store uh, within the actual you know streams and and if someone purchases uh, someone for something from your actual merch store, there is a notification that will pop up on your stream, which is really cool as well. Uh, next, you are presented with the uh, alerts and overlays. So if you go to the themes gallery, so you basically have in here everything uh, like, you know, default, uh, you know, scenes. Uh, so, you, you know, you got like, different options. So you can basically, uh, you know, review them and see how they look like you know like Christmassy this is like the best chat and then you got um you know stream starting with your time you know the countdown and everything which is really cool you can use like you don't have to create one you can just go onto one of those if you like this one this one actually looks really cool if I'm honest with you uh you know you got the overlay and then you got everything else you know this is like the just chat you know you got the chatting here and then you know everything is in movement you know it shows uh you know the animated overlay it's an animated overlay which is, looks really 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 nice to be honest uh you know starting the song screen uh the beat right back screen so basically you can go and select one of them uh, and you supply and you you know modify it to your own name you just have to modify your name and and Customize it uh, as much as you want. This one looks really nice as well, uh, and it's also animated, so and it doesn't have like a theme, you know. Um, so then you have the themes here, alerts. If you can customize alerts, so it's not much in here, and the widgets. So you got your social media potato, your holidays, you know, uh, subscribe alert box. Uh, so you got like different things in here. Um, basically uh, what you can uh, do is go on to other websites uh, like you can go to pixel chat or you can go to um i don't know uh, we got nerdodai uh, so if you go to nerdodai you can just go and download from nerdodai you know like different overlays and those overlays uh, they will give you 
uh, like instructions on how to send these overlays onto a stream element. If you're using either a stream element or a stream labs, uh, you know, you got the option of, uh, you know, they, this will come with the instructions of, of how to import, uh, you know, those uh, overlays from this one. So if you, you know, if you decide to pay for one of these overlays, obviously, you want to use it with one of, uh, you know, with the stream, stream elements. Uh, you don't have, to, you're not forced to be using any of those. Uh, so yeah, if you import it here, obviously you got your own widgets and you got your alerts and your own themes. So you basically uh, will be presented with all of that available to you. Uh, next, you got the overlays here. So these are your overlays. So basically when you import your overlays, they will show in here. These are all your overlays so basically you know have a bunch of overlays because you know i've been uh you know done some stuff before some stuff that i'm not using some that i've been using i don't know you know i'm using now uh, all my uh scenes so i got like different scenes so basically if you go onto one of them uh you can preview your overlay and it opens a new uh window and if you go into edit uh, so let's go on to one of the clear ones so let's go on to that one for example or yeah let's go to that one um if you if we edit them uh, you got you show here you know you see your your i got a rotating uh, a rotating uh, uh you know a rotating feed uh, what you can basically shows like my my followers and it shows my uh you know hosts and it shows my embers uh you can have as many things as you want you got the you know the goal here i got a asset rotator which is you know the image uh, rotation if you clicking here you see you got all the uh, teams i'm on and the you know affiliate associate on amazon affiliate on on uh, stream loots and all my teams um then you can you know you got the different settings you can you know the delay and how long do you want each image to be on for uh so if you go back in here you now you got your different things you can add Im uh, like images as well so on the editor if you put that down i mean you will be shown with you know next to nothing of some things that you have to customize so you just have to basically click on it you click and then you see here you got all the options to customize uh, in here. Then you got the position and the size, which you can also just drag it, and that's it. And the text settings down here, you see, you got all the set text settings. It's very self-explanatory. It is very, very, very good, to be honest, because the good thing about stream elements and what I like about stream elements is the fact that you can just customize absolutely everything within the website. If you customize everything within the website, your OBS is going to be basically uh, not using more resources. It's not going to be using different resources for uh, notifications. It's not going to be using different resources for uh, an ember goal or, or for your, your rotating screen or your rotating, you know, um, logos, um, images. It's going to be all handled by the website and you don't have to do anything else. Uh, the website handles absolutely everything. And you know, you're going to have only one uh, source on your OBS, which unloads a lot of OBS. I mean, if you guys have been streaming long enough, you know, OBS, you know, the heavier it gets, the more, you know, the more uh, sites you put onto the OBS, the more sources you put to the OBS, you know, the heavier it is and the more resources it's going to take from your own PC. So in here, you go on to widgets. If you want to add the stuff, you got your merchandise, uh, hype cop and everything else. You know, you got a bunch of stuff in here. You got alert box and you got hype cop. Uh, you got a million things, you know, your chat, your countdown. You can put everything, everything in here. You don't, you know, notifications. You can put the follower goal, your, your train count, your images, video. You can put everything in here. And then you have like a seasonal, uh, seasonal widgets uh which you know the world cup and you know um holidays you can have like extra you know extra donations so if 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 you're having like you know a, a charity stream or something so it's basically it's really 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 good it's really good because you know you have all of this and you can add as many things as you want uh obviously I would not recommend to add too many things to your stream because, uh, you know, nowadays the best way uh, 
all your overlays to look is as clean as possible. Uh, so I will, you know, uh, I will have my overlays, uh, and I have actually my overlays as minimalist as possible. As you guys can see here, you know, I got the least uh, things possible, so I don't have that many things going on on the screen. Um, so yeah, you can add as many widgets as you want, and you see your alert box. You add your alert box, and you put your alert C, and that's it. You, you don't have to do anything else. Um, then you have your data here, which basically shows everything. You know your your labels and your goals. If you have any goals, the season data, your totals. You know aggregates, and then your settings. If you want some things, you can change absolutely everything from here. Uh, if you want your library, you can see on your library everything you got. You know, if you put music, images, and everything, you can upload as many things as you want. Um, your insert, if you want to insert an image or a text or something, it's like a shortcut. And objects, if you want to duplicate something or a group or something like that. So it, it's very, it's very, very, very simple. That's why I always say this uh, is the best one. This is the best uh, platform because basically. Um, you can handle everything within just one uh, simple overlay and one simple website you have everything on the website that's about it um, you, you, you save it and that's it and you come out and you got one website you just have to take the link you just copy the url paste it onto your obs and that's it and, and that's all you need you got one thing all the notifications and everything within the one so that's why I love stream elements. Next, you got your partnership. If you got your partnership programs and your, your challenges, you know, you can, you know, you can apply for different partnership programs. Um, then you have uh, challenges if you want to, uh, if you have any challenges. And then uh, your revenue, if you have made any revenue, you know, the tipping settings and all of that. So you have to set all of this up. And then in the next is going to be in here you got your giveaways if you want to do your own giveaways so basically it's going to show you know um what do you want to do as the giveaway so it's basically its own um it, it's going to be its own thing now so if you're doing a giveaway you just have to you know select your image and everything and you can set it up from here it's very simple very easy and you know um as i said before you know um stream elements handles everything and that's really really cool so you got your modules here uh you know your bot you can customize your your bot you can customize everything you know the chat commands uh you know spam filters your timers you can you know add your timers you can add everything here and you can have uh, your own bot from uh, stream elements going into your obs and your basically your own stream uh, if you have any media requests then you go you you can activate here and you got everything here so easy and the website profile uh, if you want to uh, open your own site profile i believe you have to pay for it um not quite sure but i think i think you do i'm not really 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 sure but i think yeah um oh no that's your profile okay so basically your profile that's what it's going to say is uh what's your discord and what's everything else so basically it's going to uh, have all your links if someone comes and sees your profile yeah if someone comes and open your profile they will see um uh, everything in your profile so yeah that's about it um other than that i don't think i've missed uh, anything i believe if we have any settings in here yeah we got the settings uh which you can import from streamlabs for example if you have your overlays and you have your notifications and everything from uh on streamlabs you just have to uh, basically install this and just bring it just bring it over and that's it that's all you have to do uh integrations if you want to bring uh tiltify you can connect it and the security so basically that that's it that, that's all you have to do it's very simple very easy uh very very intuitive and i think and i still think it's the best um platform for your overlays and for everything else right so that's been everything uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh remember i stream on mixer every tuesday uh, thursday friday and sunday 
I hope to see you guys there. Low Val Gaming. All my links to my uh, socials are all down below. Uh, you also have a link to my mixer channel. Uh, so I really hope that you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe and like it. Uh, and comment if you have any questions as always you know comment or just send me a you know message or pop into my stream and i'll help you uh, as much as i can uh, it's been very instructional um i hope you guys uh, you know can use stream elements as your platform because it is really really worth it in my opinion and just you know it handles everything and you know it's very simple very easy you put everything in one place you send it to your platform of streaming and that's it nothing else you can do uh you don't i mean nothing else you have to do is that simple uh so yeah that's uh that's everything for today guys thank you very much uh as always guys rvg over gaming back at it see you later bye bye